Welcome everybody to the 2021 Tech and Digital Fair, hosted by Turn and TechDG's launching digital startups and responsible innovations by and with refugees for the world. We're really excited to be here today with all of you um, for the launch of these innovative tech and digital startups. I'd first like to thank Atomico and Adobe for sponsoring the event. You're much more than just sponsors. You're our social mission partners and it's amazing how your team's ongoing support as well as your products and services help our community to thrive. I'd also like to thank all the entrepreneurs who are here today. I, for one, am so excited to hear about your businesses and how I can engage with them today and beyond. Today is your day. Us and the audience are all here to hear from you. Today, we will see how much refugee founders can add to tech, innovation and digital services, as well as our collective future. We have an amazing array of entrepreneurs today, some from within the TURN community, some from beyond, who are friends from TechPGs. Some of the presenters today are refugee founders and others support refugees and underrepresented communities. Tech, innovation and digital services by and with refugees is what is bringing everyone here today. And I am so pleased in welcoming you all here in this moment of celebration. Now, I'd just like to start off with a little bit of housekeeping. Unless you are a presenter, or a keynote speaker today, please keep your microphone muted throughout. We will, of course, we want you to engage and ask questions and comment, but please do so in the Zoom chat. This is also where we will be posting all links to engage with the businesses of today. If you drop off the call, just rejoin with the same link. Um, and it's at this moment I would like to introduce Petra Johansson, who is our Zoom coordinator today and will be able to solve any tech problems you are having in the main room. So please just look for Petra if you have any problems at all. Now, a little bit about myself and TURN and what we do. My name is Lucas Farthing, the Social Enterprise and Tech Portfolio Manager here at TURN. At TURN, we have a vision which is a world where refugees have a fair chance to build a livelihood. Our mission is to enable refugees to thrive through the power of their own ideas. Our way of achieving this is to build and grow startup ecosystems and marketplaces tailored to the needs of refugee entrepreneurs. Our goal by 2025 is to improve the livelihoods of 4,000 refugees and to enable 2,000 of them to launch their own sustainable businesses. We are really excited to be here today, but also to be working really closely and announce a new partnership with TechFugees. I will now hand over briefly to Raj Berman, the CEO of TechFugees, who will chat a little bit about TechFugees and what the partnership means to them. Thank you, Lucas. Delighted to be here. Let me begin by sharing some context and the, to the importance as to why we're all here today. You know, around 9 million people are displaced is the latest annual figure. That is one person every four seconds being displaced somewhere on the planet. 24,000 people in a day and rapidly rising. Current UNHCR reports around 80 million people, that's 1% of humanity being displaced. And last September, globally renowned Australian think tank, the Institute of Economics and Peace projected 1.2 billion people as climate migrants due to global warming by 2050. These are the hardcore facts. At TechFugees, our global open community of 56,000 followers is growing as broad as wide with people and organizations like yourselves coming together to 
as a global digital collective to serve a common purpose of promoting the digital rights and the human rights of displaced people through responsible digital innovations and supporting their, their inclusion in the digital society. During the course of today and tomorrow, you will hear some amazing stories from refugee entrepreneurs supported by TERN, together with grassroots stories on how tech refugees, our community work together with displaced people globally to curate responsible innovations, digital solutions for displaced communities to access information, education, work, health, and inclusion. Whilst we continue to leverage our open data, digital tools and platforms to empower the inclusion. Now, innovations and entrepreneurships go hand in hand as two sides of the same coin to make a difference. So Tech Futures and Turn found natural synergies in the work that we respectively do in innovations on, on, and entrepreneurships to empower UK refugees and the global displaced. So we're absolutely thrilled to partner with Turn to bring you in this event with an exciting program with incredible keynote speakers and, and participants. So with that, I'd like to hand over to Lucas to tell you more about the Tech Fuji's Turn partnership and today's proceedings. Enjoy the sessions and thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much, Raj. And um, yeah, I, I just wanna reiterate again, we, we are so excited to launch this partnership. And indeed, I think Turn and Tech Fuji's, we have a shared purpose, where we feel that we are so much stronger together in supporting responsible innovations and promoting the rights of displaced persons, as well as enabling refugee entrepreneurship to turn ideas into reality. This partnership and this fair are part of our wider tech portfolio strategy. We wanna connect with you to find novel ways of supporting our community of tech and digital founders and to create a community of like-minded people who want to collaborate with refugees. Hey, you're muted. Thank you. Have I been muted the whole time? No, no just, just for no. five seconds. Um, but, but, oh, okay, so we are looking to really grow a new tech portfolio strategy. We want to connect with you to find new ways of supporting our community of tech and digital founders and to create a community of like-minded people who want to collaborate with refugee tech and digital founders. We're always looking for in-kind tech support, marketing support, expert volunteers, and funding for our community startups. If this resonates with you today, please reach out to myself via email or LinkedIn. My colleagues from TURN will place this in the chat right now. Today marks the beginning of a new network and a new community in the tech and digital space. I'm really excited for this. I'm really so excited to hear from you as well. We have an amazing two-part agenda uh, for you today. It's absolutely action-packed. And to start with, we will hear from our keynote speaker, Marta Kropinska, the head of Google for Startups UK. I will then talk a little bit about the breakout themes and I will invite you to set off for part two, the breakouts. This is where you can choose a theme where each theme will have a moderator who's a member of the turn team and there will be entrepreneurial presentations, and finally, a preview of day two. We really invite you to engage meaningfully here in these breakouts with the presenters and the businesses in each room by using the Zoom chat and engaging on the links. In each breakout, there will be two to three entrepreneurs across six different themes. Please choose the breakout theme which you are most interested in. Our six breakout tracks are as follows. Room one is design services. Room two, solutions for big business. Room three, digital empowerment. Room four, digital learning. Room five, 
green and sustainable innovation, and room six, green and sustainable development. I'll talk a little bit more about who's in these rooms um, a, little, uh, a little bit later, and I expect them to start around 3.35. So please do stick around uh, for these breakouts. And for now, sorry, for now, it is my absolute pleasure to introduce Marta Kopinska, our keynote speaker for today. Marta is the head of Google for Startups UK and co-founder of Azimo, the international money transfer startup and one of the fastest growing fintech companies in the world. At Google for Startups, Marta and her team are on a mission to find, identify and support the next generation of founders on their journey. Championing startups, taking on big so social issues such as diagnosing rare diseases, reducing bias and hiring, as well as supporting diverse founders. Google for Startups has accelerators in 125 countries and has a strong focus on inclusion and societal change. Now, please join me in welcoming Marta and her presentation. Marta, it's great to have you here. It's a real pleasure. Over to you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lucas. It's such a such an absolute delight to be here and I, I could not be more excited for for this new partnership between Turn and TechUGs. TechUGs having been fantastic friends of ours for many years now. Um, I also could not be more excited to hear from all the entrepreneurs that will be presenting because at, after all it is for you and it is about you. So um, what I'd love to share is a little bit of what, uh, why, and sort of who we are at Google for Startups and also why this is so important to us and how we can contribute to you and what you're building. Um, and I just said, I'm most excited about entrepreneurs. Um, that is definitely true. I've, I've been one three times um, and there is no more exhilarating, empowering, impactful way to live as far as I'm concerned. But at the same time, it's incredibly hard and the grit and the effort and the energy and the sacrifice that every entrepreneur makes to make their dream come true, to build a product that can deliver on their mission, to create jobs for their community is, is absolutely exceptional. And this is why I'm so excited to tell you about two entrepreneurs that we have worked with at, at Google for Startups. I'd like you to meet uh, Marcos and Amir. Um, they're the founders of a Brazilian delivery app that connects self-employed cooks to customers who live in the same neighborhood. So think uh, organizations like Uber Eats or Deliveroo, you know, they would bring you food from a local restaurant. But these guys instead focused on the fact that so many incredible cooks don't necessarily have, you know, their own shop, but they might be cooking delicious food and you could order directly from them to your home, not only would they cook, they would also be the ones that are delivering the food to you. It creates, it creates lovely connections in the community, but it also creates much needed jobs um, in Brazil where Fuzi are based. So Marcos was a former pizzeria owner, uh, but it was when he met Amir, an Iranian refugee and cook who just arrived in Belo Horizonte in Brazil, where they together came up with, uh, with the idea in 2015. They've been working on it for many years uh, and in 2020, they were accepted into a startup zone program at Google for Startups campus in Sao Paulo, where they were introduced by my colleagues in Brazil to fellow entrepreneurs. They had access to um, fundraising opportunities, uh, learning about technology and scaling. Um, sort of, they were surrounded by a community that helped them professionalize their business and take it further. Um, another alumni of our programs at Google for Startups is Rahel. Rahel's based in London. I've actually had the pleasure of working with her for the past couple of years. She's the founder of FroHub. It's a UK-based platform for Afro hairstylists and beauticians. Um, Rahel's actually not a refugee herself, but her mother was from Eritrea, where she traveled to Sweden 30 odd years ago. Um, with her daughters and Rahel tells stories of being little and having to travel for an hour and a half or two hours sometimes to a different city to the one where they lived in Sweden to even find someone who would know how to take care of their hair. Um, and she came to UK a few years ago working in digital and in fintechs, but sort of she was still seeing that the need that was such obvious one for, for women of color was not fulfilled by anything that was available on the market. So she started FroHub that allows uh, women 
actually men as well, but I think her, her main uh, customer base are women, to connect to Afro hairstylists and beauticians in a safe, efficient, convenient way, make sure that they all have great business together. Um, and she's been scaling this company for about two or three years now, and she's been part of our residency program in Google for Startups campus in London. Um, so why am I excited about these stories? It's, you know, people who bring their passion, their energy, create jobs in the local economy and for people that they in turn employ. And this is really why we do what we do at Google for Startups and why I'm so excited about this conference and about, and about all of you. Um, our mission at Google for Startups is really that. It's leveling the playing field for startup uh, founders and communities so they can succeed. And we do that by connecting them uh, with the best of Google. And it's definitely my personal belief that it shouldn't matter where you're from, what you look like, uh, who you know, how much money you have, um, to be able to benefit from these incredible opportunities that the digital age is creating for ourselves. And I believe that if we can play even a small role to provide access uh, to entrepreneurs, to help them make their dreams come true, then this is absolutely our duty. So there are three things that we do. Um, we um, provide access to best practices. That's anything from how to hire, how to uh, market your business online. And we provide training on Google technology. Google has nine, I believe, products that have more than a billion users. Um, so anything from analytics, ads, YouTube, cloud. If you're a digital entrepreneur, sooner or later, you are going to be using one of our products. So we're making sure that you have best access to education on how to use it to the benefit of your business. And finally, um, it's about introducing people to right contacts and mentors. Um, at Google, we have 130,000 staff. Many of us are startup mentors ourselves. We also have great communities that we can help entrepreneurs tap into. So that's the third pillar of what we do. But none of it would be complete without our global network and without our amazing partnerships. We have 75 partners around the world. That you can see in all of these, all of these dots around the map. Uh, TechFugees has been one of our most loved partner um, since its inception, in fact. Um, so I'm really pleased to see that now Turret is joining the group, which essentially means that's like an extended partner of ours as well. Um, so I look forward to working with you guys. But we have 75 partners around the world, and these are community organizers, tech hubs, investors, accelerators. And we also have eight campuses, physical buildings around the world. As you can imagine, with COVID now, they've mostly been closed. Um, actually, they're all closed now, but we look forward to being able to working um, to work with our entrepreneurs again uh, in person. So what I really want to make sure of is that this is not just me telling you about Google, but actually all of you, should you wish to, can take some practical links and, and resources out of out of this talk um, to, to consider or maybe benefit from. Uh, and the first one is I'd like to share with you the digital garage. Um, by the way, each slide that I show has a link underneath it. Um, obviously, these are not clickable because we're on Zoom. I believe the guys are going to paste these links into the chat in Zoom. But if not, I will also do it once I'm done so that you can copy it um, for yourselves and keep it for, for later. So digital garage is 26 um, digital skill courses. Um, a few of them end up with a professional certification. So it's also something that you can put on your, on your LinkedIn. It's anything from Big Data 101, creating your best CV for digital roles, um, putting your business online, basics of digital marketing. So these are probably slightly entry level, but we found them to be really, really helpful. And I think over the past um, three years in the UK alone, we've trained 100,000 people with these digital skills. So definitely recommend you check out Digital Garage. I also very much recommend startup.google.com. This is a website where we host a lot of the links to some of our best practices around hiring, around management. Google famously is run by this theory of OKRs, objectives and key results, which in the busy life of an entrepreneur helps prioritize what you should be spending your time on, what you should maybe uh, put away for later, maybe it's less of a priority. Um, there is also a long list of the majority of our technical tools that can be helpful when building your digital uh, with digital stack. So make sure to check out um, startup.google.com. And the other thing that's really cool is we partner with an organization called Digital Boost and a few hundred of my colleagues 
um, in the UK are providing free one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So if you're a business owner, you can go to this website and book a call where a colleague of mine um, can talk with you through some of the challenges that you can have on your business. Um, and the feedback that we've, that we've been getting is really, really great. Now, that's also one that I'm very excited about, um, Startup School. And again, campus.co um, is the, the page of our, uh, of our campuses. Um, Startup.co slash Startup School. Um, Startup School is professional trainings on Google products. So at the minute, we're offering Google Ads, Google Cloud, and Google Analytics. And every time it's a class of between three, 30 and 100 people on the call, it lasts two hours each. Um, and basically, it's not just a talk like this, but you actually you come in and they help you set up your Google Analytics page, connect it to your website, make sure that you're doing the tracking right. Same with ads, if you want to do test with ads or if you want to learn the basics of cloud. So it's really hands-on workshops with, uh, with one of our partner agencies. Um, it's some of the best free content we've got out there. And again, we've had great feedback from entrepreneurs that really helps them supercharge um, their startup. Um, I'm sure most of you would have heard of Design Sprint. Um, it's, uh, everybody swears by it. Design Sprint is one of my favorite things. It was initially conceived by GV, so Google Ventures, the, the fundraising arm of Google. But it's a great thing where within three to five days, you can, if you have an idea, and it can be an idea for a new business, or it can be an idea for a new feature within the business you've already got. Rather than spending time building it for months and maybe you know investing some of your own money or resources to do it, you can actually, um, following this methodology, verify if there is a demand for your business, if this is what people are going to want to use. Um, it's it's um, all of the guide, sort of guidance of how to do it is on this website, gb.com slash sprint. Um, but if you're looking to develop your business further with new features, or maybe you have a new idea, maybe this conference is going to inspire you, then I definitely recommend that as well. And then the final thing that I would like um, you to do is just keep in touch with us. Check out Campus Co. It's our general website where we also post our high touch programs for startups. So a lot of what I do in my day job with my colleagues is we uh, put together accelerator programs for startups that are a little bit further along the way. So um, I don't particularly like using the sort of the, the investor language, especially as I think a lot of the sort of investment world is pretty pretty unfairly biased against underrepresented founders. Um, but if we were to say, you know, early, early stage, but with traction, with customers, with some revenue, it's really when these companies are at this stage that we can sort of bring them together and into our network at Google, and we can really help them supercharge their business over a course of generally these programs are two to three months, cohorts of 10 to 12 companies. Um, if you go to this website, you'll see some of the success stories that we've had in the past. Perhaps when new programs come along, you would like to apply for it. Fingers crossed that, um, that you would and that you would be successful. So I definitely um, encourage you to keep in touch and uh, follow if we've got any programs upcoming. Um, and on that, as I'm talking about programs, I'd like to share with you a little video that tells a story of three uh, founders uh, from three different countries that went on that journey with us. Eu tinha um bom cargo, eu tinha uma boa profissão, só que aquilo não me fazia feliz. Então eu decidi sair do banco para fundar a minha startup. Só que nós enfrentamos muitas dificuldades. Precisávamos de pessoas, de investidores. Eu sempre acreditei que podia dar certo, mas ainda faltava alguma coisa. Gente, 2020년이면 이 플랫폼이 필요하겠다라고 확신이 들었는데 같이 프로젝트를 진행을 했었는데 굉장히 많은 어려움이 있었는데요. 나한테 아시죠? 온 살토 알바시오. 걔가 이 사세 분에게 쇼 걔가 이 사세 분에게 한데 그거 꼭 왔어야 하는 거. 그는 전혀요. 연결이 끊어지고 보시면 그냥 또 말해 주시고 베스트한. Quando eu fui aprovado no programa do Google no campus São Paulo, eu não acreditava. Isso foi que a chance era de que o que a gente estava fazendo era certo, que a gente podia acreditar mais, que a gente podia se dedicar mais. 
처음 창업을 카페 지역에서 하게 되었습니다. 저희는 레지던스 에어리어로 이제 입주를 하게 되었는데 제가 결과적으로는 다른 곳에서 받을 수 없었던 도움을 받을 수가 있었고요. Empezamos en residencia y hace más de, de siete meses y la verdad ha sido para nosotros clave. Hoy te pongo un congreso de segundo chumazón a sacar chas de esta manera. Cuando el campo se ve eso, ¿no? Yo veo esa pujoca con esa otra manera. Casi con una rechugo. Nos crecemos más de diez veces el número de usuarios. Crecemos cuarenta veces el facturamiento mensual. Nos mejoramos el producto, la gestión de personas y lo más importante, nos conseguimos traducir eso en valor para los nuestros usuarios. Nuestra empresa se ha consolidado de todo y ya te puedes sentar a la mesa con grandes fondos. Pude aprender con personas excepcionales, conocer los mayores emprendedores del mundo. Es genial tener a gente que te apoya, que cree en lo que estás haciendo, los momentos burros como los éxitos. Great. I hope you enjoyed that. I feel I tear up every time, but it's really emotional. It's again like people putting their lives on the line and, and really trying to create something for themselves and and for their and for their community. Um, and I'm so sure that it probably resonated with so many of you on this call. And um, so the last uh, question I want to answer today is what, why does Google do it? Um, I think both Lucas and Raj made made excellent points. Um, opening the session today talking about the opportunities that we've got but also the challenges that we're facing sometimes it really feels like the world is in a pretty dark day everything from covid to continuous climate crisis that is pushing people to leave their homes and how unbelievably unfair and challenging that is i can i can i can only try and um and and, and empathize with um, so it absolutely is the right thing to do that in this digital world we empower everyone to be able to benefit from that digital economy. And in fact, I actually hope and, and I, I want to believe that if we do this right, and if we all work together, then perhaps the world we recover into uh, is going to be better than the one that we had even before the COVID crisis. Um, so there's definitely a strong sort of emotional and sort of socially responsible component. But I also couldn't stress enough that all of this is also just great the success of founders is success of Google as well. Uh, in a single year, these are 2019 numbers, uh, we had over 800,000 entrepreneurs participate in our programs and events around the world. Um, raise over $6 billion. And again, this is not to deify raising money, but that also shows that there is a commercial model in there. And, and when people raise money, they also create jobs. These companies in a single year create 33,000 jobs. And obviously this is all what we need to, to upscale ourselves to create, uh, to create um, new innovations. We really see that your success and the success of startups is very much connected to the success of Google. So I'll stop rambling now. Um, it's been an absolute pleasure to be able to present to you today. Um, I look forward to the rest of the sessions and I'll make sure you have the links in the chat. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Marta. I'd just like to take this moment and just say thank you on behalf of everybody here. I'm sure everyone will join me as well. Uh, just to thank you for being with us today. And, you know, that, that, that video just, it really shows that every business starts somewhere and, and everybody goes through similar ups and downs along the journey. And it's been a real pleasure. And wow, what an amazing opportunity you've also presented to entrepreneurs to join this incredible global community. And I'm, I'm talking directly before I share screen, uh, to all the entrepreneurs out there today, go and click on the links in the chat. There's Digital Garage, Best Practices and Tools, Free Mentoring, Supercharge Your Startup, Validate Your Idea and Design Sprint, and uh, get in the network with Google. Go into the chat, go and click on those links. Um, Marta, once again, thank you so, so much for speaking with us today. It's been a real pleasure to listen to you and to have you here uh, representing Google Startups. And yeah, it's been great. Thank you. Um, right, uh, I will go back to uh, share screen. I want to do that first. Sneak preview of a, uh, a lovely turn style GIF. Um, now, so it's time to choose your breakouts, right? So the breakouts are where entrepreneurs will present their businesses uh, to you, to the audience, to us. 
So please, first of all, just engage with every business um, in the chat. There will be uh, links, there will be asks uh, that are posted. Um, and here comes your dilemma. You've got to pick one of the six rooms and I will introduce the rooms and who will be in them now, um, but choose what interests you most. However, please don't worry. We are creating a web page uh, with all of the entrepreneurs and all the presentations. So you will be able to see any that you, uh, you, you couldn't get to see today. Um, the one thing I will say is please stay in your breakouts uh, when you choose them, but I'll talk about that a little bit later. Nevertheless, Let's get excited about each room, um, who the startups are and who will be moderating. So breakout number one, uh, room one is design services. The first room is all about two design service companies that are helping uh, create solutions for other companies and individuals. Skyline Services uh, is a web development service for small businesses looking to have a digital presence. Avan Studio is a full service interior design agency. This room will be moderated by Adele. The second room is all about platforms that help companies make smart connections. We'll hear from Set Yeti, whose platform enables film producers to find amazing film locations in an instant by choosing properties uploaded by local businesses and also people like you and me. We'll then hear from Team Yard, whose platform enables companies to connect employees through sport and fun activities to bond and get healthy together. This room will be facilitated by Fred. Room three is all about digital empowerment and using digital services for communities and organizations. Lightning is a digital platform which enables financially vulnerable people to receive super fast support to build financial resilience. Jazil is a self-described content utopia and online platform where people can learn, write, and be employed through the power of words. This room will be moderated by Wasila. Room four is all about digital learning. We will hear from Scripto, whose mobile app analyzes your handwriting to tell you more about your personality traits. And uni for you is an online platform connecting prospective international students from underrepresented countries to universities in the UK using a smart search system. This room will be moderated by Emily. Room five is all about green and sustainable innovation featuring new sustainable technologies. Instant Pickup is an online platform which provides on-demand emission-free transport for logistic services. Consume AI uses big data and artificial intelligence to help food businesses make data-driven decisions to avoid food surplus, reduce costs and increase profit. In Carbon Mobile, it's all in the name, the world's first carbon fiber smartphone. This room will be moderated by Charlie. Room six is all about green and sustainable development, featuring innovations to support the development of global communities. Trees Against Poverty is a platform on which you can sponsor the planting of a tree or forest in Syria, thereby creating livelihoods for internally displaced people. Mami Water is a sensor-based device used for monitoring the quality and the safety of water. TechFugees Nigeria is one of the international cha chapters of TechFugees and an aspect of their work is a displaced marketplace an online e-commerce platform for Nigeria's internally displaced people. And this room will be moderated by myself. Okay, take a minute, look at the screen. I've told you what's in them. Um, this is just an overview one more time about the, uh, the breakout rooms um, and which one you would like to join. Um, I will reiterate again, um, this will be moderated by a turn colleague. Uh, they will explain how to interact with the businesses using the links. They will introduce the businesses and they will also, at the end, have any follow up, um, what to expect next um, and also a preview of day two. And I will stress now that the, uh, the session uh, today will end in the breakout room. So at the end of the breakout room, you are uh, free to leave uh, the breakouts. I'll just show you very quickly 
how to join the breakout is it's quite a new feature, I think, on Zoom. If you are using a desktop computer, um, a little tab at the bottom will open saying choose breakout room. Please then click on the breakout uh, room tab and you can choose your breakout. It will pop up room one, two, three, four, five, six. Choose one of those and then you will be joining the room once you've clicked that. Um, if you're joining from a mobile today, uh, similar thing, but it comes and it pops up top left corner uh, with a button. Um, please just click the pop up uh, once they're opened. Um, and then a drop down menu of all six rooms will be there. Please click join and then you will go and join into the breakout. Right, that's all from me. Um, it's been a pleasure so far, and I'm really looking forward to the breakouts now. Uh, please enjoy uh, the breakouts, engage with the asks, um, and please join me in welcoming all the entrepreneurs that are presenting today. Petra, uh, please open the breakouts. Uh, I shall stop sharing and uh, yeah, enjoy. Okay, thank you, Lucas. I will open the breakouts now for if there's any problems. If you end up in the wrong room, you can always come back out to here and I'll help you into the right one. And any of the breakout hosts, you should have recording permissions. So if you don't have that, let me know. I am going to open all the rooms. If you're presenting or if you're a host, you've already been pre-assigned. Uh, so you shouldn't have to um, select a room. Good luck, everybody.